Hello everyone, welcome back to another another episode of the Bactrian campaign. So last episode, if you watched that, you remember we had a huge siege, no, night assault upon Bukhara, which we captured. So that's mission three or four that uh, has been uh, uh, accomplished. And Bukhara is also, as you can see, uh, on the Silk Road, which is really, really good because it gives you public order boost and also gives you trade, which is fantastic. In fact, most of our cities are on the uh, Silk Road, like this one of Bactria itself has got this great cult statue of Anahita, but most of the rest, if you look at them, this is Alexandria, for example, it's got Silk Road here with a nice little bonus going there. Uh, apart from, I think, apart from Ascabara, I think the rest, yes, like Bukhara again, and also uh, this city that we ca uh, captured uh, in the north, the, we captured from the Sakans. Likewise, it comes with a Silk Road building, which is really, really nice. Uh, Marakanda, also in Marakanda, we're actually building Hellenistic polis here. So that's all good and well. So it means we're generating a bit of an extra income. In fact, trade, as you can see, is actually overtaking mining uh, income at the moment, which is really, really indicative of, you know, how well connected this region, you know, at the heart of kind of a trading routes was. So all that done, uh, said and done, uh, let's see what we can do. Um, so this has been ordered, uh, right? Oh yes, this has been bu building from last, I don't know, three terms ago. I think I ordered construction on that Hellenistic polis in Marakanda. What else we've got here? Um, maybe I should go for this building here. Yeah, because if I do, I think this is where we need to upgrade the walls, right? Maybe this will unlock, I don't know, another level of something, something. <laughs> Although unlikely, it could unlock mines though, I think. But anyway, let's build that there. We have a bit of money and that's pretty much it. Don't have money for anything else. And right, let's see. We have one of the uh, diplomats there, one spy in Harazm and one is right next to the settlement. Let's see. Let's see, I spy with my little eye or whatever. Let's see what's going on here. So this is their capital, okay? In fact, the ruler is in the capital right now. Let's get a little bit closer. Yeah, okay. So they have the typical missile-based uh, army there. So they only control, really, I think, these two settlements. There's another one down here, up here, rather. Let's see what it's like. Uh -huh. So this one is still rebel. Okay, that's good. So Parthia is actually reduced. It has been reduced to to two settlements. It seems. Where are they? Where are the Parthians? Let's have a quick look if we can actually check that overall military. Military. Look at that. Hmm. Okay. Very similar production. Territorial. Yeah. It's. I think it's still on three. I think that's three. Is that three? Uh, but it will decrease hopefully next turn. I think it's outdated report because I haven't actually ended the, that turn yet. Oh, but before we do, look what we've got here. Yeah, this rebels spawned. Let me just see if I can actually defeat them with my this initial army here. Oh, uh, that's a pain in the butt. And their general is also a horse archer. Okay, let's let's try. That should be interesting and maybe a bit of a warm up for uh, fighting parties later on. Okay, so let's uh, let's begin the show. So what I've done, I placed my archers up front here in loose formation, and this guy's warming up. Nice to see. Uh, yeah, and they are then backed by the phalangites and hoplites. Okay, and I placed the least reliable guys here in reserve. I wanted to put them in uh, loose formation. I've, unfortunately, they don't have that option. Oh yeah, let's disable disable this so that they can just stand their ground um, because there's gonna be a lot of, I think, back and forth shooting, I think. Uh, actually, let's place you guys in loose formation as well. Uh, let's see if it's going to work for you. Oh, it does seem to work, they're doing something. Uh, yeah, that's better. Okay, there you go. So I think what I'm going to do with my general though, I'm going to try and repel. And oh no, it's a hundred of them as well. Ugh. So 
So I can't really do much because I don't know if it's good enough for my one single unit. How heavy? Are they not very heavy actually? Let's chase them away with my cavalry, with my general if we can. Alright, let's target this unit and let's target that unit there. And let's actually, uh, yeah, order this. All right, go guys. And I will try and chase away their um, bodyguard unit, their general. Let's see if it works. We are much heavier unit here, so we should not have much of a problem unless, of course, all of these guys decide to join in the fray and attack. I want to, yeah, get rid of this guy. And then with the rest of them, hopefully, 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 we can deal with them a little bit later. Let's see what's the damage. Yeah, this ponies, they're incredibly irritating. Aha, uh -huh. so we managed to yeah catch their uh, bodyguard, the general unit. Um, yeah, this have uh, actually looks like a larger steeds, like almost Nicene. Uh, unlike, oh, look how beautiful these horses are. I think they're from Rusice, I want to say. The mod, very, very old mod. Uh, hasn't been updated, I think, as far as I know, in ages. Beautiful, beautiful horses there. Right, our archers are not doing great, okay? They've taken some serious damage. Look at the 80 men left in that unit. Likewise, my infantry as well. But if we could at least get rid of these guys, this unit, uh, 72 foot. Ooh, that was a little bit, perhaps, overconfident of me. Look, they have this nasty axes, although we do do damage. They have shields as well. And we now foot down to 43 men against their 50 cent. Hopefully, 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 we're gonna make it because I have nothing here. Actually, I do. I'm lying. I can send one of these units here in support. I perhaps should have done it um, much sooner. Okay, let's let's send these guys. These are light, very very light. Hopefully, they won't take too long to arrive there. Who died? Damn it! I just lost. <laughs> I just lost my governor. Oh no. All right, okay. At least the, the unit is still holding on. Yeah, I should have sent this unit in support much, much sooner. Uh, they light unit, you know, and they're doing well against cavalry because they are actual spearmen. So, yeah, it looks like um, we're not doing great. Okay. And I already lost my general, which is not good. But look at these guys. They're just still swinging away and trying to deal with. Yeah, ah, okay. So this is good because we see now that the unit of Spearman is on on its way. Come on, boys, charge it, charge it, charge, charge, charge. Let's go. Oh, they separated into two halves for some reason. Oh, that's okay. Works for me. All right, 34. Come on, make an impact here before these guys route, and then the rest of my army will route too. Uh, Go for it. Right, what's happening here? Archers are still doing what they're supposed to be doing. Although there's less and less of them, uh, unfortunately. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do it. Okay, finally, finally. Okay, so tit for tat has happened. We killed their leader, which is great to see. And it's with this like kind of split into unit of uh, Levy Spearman. Um, yeah, it's a shame I lost my um, general. It's a real shame. I don't think I have a lot of them to choose from. Well, actually, you know what? No, I'm okay. Because we actually, remember, we are hiring client rulers, don't we? So there are client rulers. Uh, there is a second one, I think, already on his way. So that's all good and well. That's all right. Not a biggie, actually. Yeah. The more important thing is... Oh, we slaughtered... No, they, they ran away. Okay, hopefully they won't be coming back. Now, what I do, I'll try actually now to perhaps, yeah, try and flank this force here. There's another unit of light spearmen. If I just order you guys this way, and I will be starting my, uh, you know, heavy infantry will be making advance uh, in the center. Now, the problem is now they gallop away from the range of my archers, which isn't very good. But I'm hoping maybe with my unit of, actually, let's target these guys with the archers, the ones that are further away. With my unit of what's left of the bodyguard unit, maybe I can catch one of theirs and then pin them. And then, oh no, he's routing now. Yeah, obviously, yeah, 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 he's only, yeah, they lost the general and they're down to what, like 15 men. Now, if that's the case, then you guys stop. Stop where you are, okay? 
and what I'm going to have to do I think is I actually ask you to come back because now you're going to route as well won't you without the leadership of our general all right where is this unit all right there you go so what's happening there oh these guys are off as well which is good okay that's not too bad not too bad okay so there they lost two units and three units is that it okay there's one here and there's one here okay well yeah okay that that works for me right 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 um right you guys as well so uh what's happening all right let's just ask you to go this way this way here are you coming back by any chance fellas no not today no not this time okay that's unfortunate but we're doing okay right yeah we're doing okay we lost 20 percent but that's to be expected with this kind of armies you know this kind of tactics but the good thing is half of their army is routing which is really really good and this one unit that we need to now worry worry about hopefully this won't be much longer and i think i'm going to start approaching them slowly yeah with my units and i'm going to try and kind of envelop them a little bit like so and archers i'm going to ask them actually to also come forward these are the spearmen archers as you can see so it should be extremely effective against these ponies and um, they only have 35 men left with the arrows okay let's just fast forward this let's see where it's going to go and we're going to advance here yeah, we're going to advance and we're going to advance here as well as here as well as here and over here as well let's see are you not tired of this of this circles running circles should be extremely tired i would think maybe not all right so it's victory we're not going to pursue them we have nothing to pursue them with and battle look they were outnumbered two to one no experience has been gained gained inflicted casualties yes the archers outdid everyone including outdone the general as well okay unfortunately it came at a cost and i lost yeah i lost otherwise able um uh governor but we can retrain hopefully public order is still on 80 which needs to be reduced now somewhat uh that's unfortunate do i have any spare ones let me see uh no this is the daughter's here oh yeah there's one here there's one here let's send you guy uh or fella here um yeah he doesn't make much of an impact but at least he's loyal you know he's sharp charismatic and vigorous actually so he should be okay he should be a good replacement there so yeah unfortunately i lost one of them now what else we can do um not much i can't i think it's time it's time it's time we ended the turn and see to see what the parthians are up to now okay let's see let's see let's see what has transpired here macedonia yeah okie doc uh-huh yeah a recruitment has taken place and this is the guy that we just hired here as a client ruler he's unfortunately dull but he's charismatic and vigorous which is okay political animal and all the rest of that from noble family client ruler okie doke and he's a sogdian which is really really good and the good thing is yeah you can hear here about his features like you know what he's more likely to get what kind of traits and ciliaries etc inclinations now polis has been constructed and now we can do some of the levy hellenistic units hopefully haploi who else a contest was given to us as well and i think yes uh bactrioi a uh, horse archer unit i think is as well hellenistic uh, as far as i can remember so this is good we can also build uh we have the colony points enough of them to build settler frontier posts this is also generated by the colonies and this will give you access to proper hoplite unit as well and um, but i don't think we have the money for it now okay let's see what else we can build actually we have six thousand now in the treasury and uh, the capital has been somewhat neglected capital actually needs needs a bit of a public order boost i think what i'm going to do i'm going to have to bring but look how far away he is now i have to bring my um actually with this expanded movement points oh look he actually reaches here wow how ama amazing is that i might have to bring my yeah faction leader uh, demetrius back 
uh, at some point perhaps but first of all let's deal with the Parthians here okay governor in training this is good stuff okay so nothing special has happened here now they have managed to kind of assemble an army it seems here hmm okay uh, this is we have a diplomat in the area oh hang on what was what's going on here oh not much not much okay it's just uh, yeah, a couple of units few units of seconds are uh, wandering around but the settlement there is still actually still um, What's it called? Rebel. Independent, so to speak. Right, where's my second spy? Second spy is here. Uh, oh, 92%. Oh, no! Damn it! It was 92% success chance, and I lost him. Uh, okay, well, that's not good, is it? Let's see if I can just spy, perhaps, with my diplomat. Ah, okay, they have two family members here. Shall we talk to them? Ceasefire. Oh, very generous. Okay this um you give me a map how about your your modest wealth okay you give me a few <clears throat> a couple of thousand guys because i have to pay the silicates you know so how about this still very generous wow okay um let's see how about so generous okay ceasefire yeah i'm asking for ceasefire because i'm honestly i'm overstretched if they counter attack then I'm pretty much done for and there's no, nothing will be left to defend Bactria oh wow wow okay well okay all right well that's well okay <laughs> can't believe it but uh okie doke yeah works for me works for me so I'm going to now now since that happened I'm going to now actually see if I can you know just switch to admin tasks and um, you know rebuild my infrastructure here uh, not rebuild but build it up from you know whatever I had at the beginning of the game and then I think yeah I'm going to go for the temple of Ahura Mazda here because of the public order and then we'll see from there I need to actually uh, uh, lots of those the units in the army they need retraining lots of them you see 49 94 da, da, da. so all of these guys need to really be sent back let's see if i can actually no uh how about how about how about uh, i don't want to lose their daughters though i don't want to send them to the frontier all the way out there what if i send this guy is there any better if i remove you from here oh yeah he's a little bit better uh let's lower the taxes like so and i wanted to bring my faction leader back really did and so this fella can go and occupy oh look how bad he is it's already on low and yeah let's send him to the capital to accompany uh the daughters here he's really bad governor isn't he okay here what can we do can we retrain we can i think we can retrain retrain these hoplites mercenary hoplites in one of the settlements let's just have a quick look and uh, nope no no can do oh but we can recruit these fellas they're not very expensive yeah it seems that uh, from my army here the only units that can be retrained are these archers as well as this unit of oh what about what about this nezagdar uh, spearmen can i can i retrain them no i don't think so bactria unfortunately that seems not to be the case okay well i will bring back whatever i can to retrain the rest will have to stay where they are you guys need to go back i'm afraid so let's see i'm going to bring these guys and oh the cavalry as well i think i can retrain okay so that's what we're going to be doing now retraining and that's pretty much it and i'm going to send uh, my faction leader all the way back to the capital and the daughters here will come hopefully and meet these troops that were sent back for retraining so that's the plan for now okay guys so a few turns later um, what happened um, not much really I sent most of my men for retraining back to Marakanda and Parthia and um, 
especially the cavalry i've gathered all of them virtually all of them apart from this unit that gets free upkeep in markanda most of the, my men are here now i cannot retrain these guys nor these guys i will see maybe i will actually um disband them but for now all of the rest of the units you see they've all been retrained uh, ready for action and um, here likewise my elephants well those who haven't they've been ordered to retrain so i've paid for it already so to speak which is really good and gets us ready for whatever might happen next and my ally is now at war uh, with nabateans which is uh, you know no concern of mine really yeah all of this retraining has taken place as you can see so i'm just making sure i cannot retrain unfortunately these fellas nor those fellas um, I like my yeah, uh, units replenished at full strength if I can help it, but some I cannot. That's why I did not really use elephants because I can't really retrain them. Now, what, what happened as well, we built allied government here. So now, now is the time to build a client ruler, and then I will get this miserable guy out of here because, or maybe I should do it now. Yes, yes, because he causes all sorts of problems, and luckily as well, the Parthians, this uh, this half a stack they had here, they decided to withdraw, which is really, really good. So instead, they within their own t uh, territory now, few units here, few here, because yeah, my uh, garrison here is really bare bones as well, all depleted, you know, 40 men, uh, 50 men, etc. Apart from these two units and unit of archers. So if they do attack, we're going to be in a real, real pickle here. Now what I need to decide is who can I actually bring, oh I, I don't need to actually because client ruler will be ruling there so I'm gonna bring this guy back to the capital and then I think what I'm going to do next few turns I'm gonna start building watchtowers if I can afford it. Right now I have three thousand and a half in a bank and all of my buildings they're awfully expensive unfortunately this one is the cheapest 3200. So we'll see what I can do with this um, I'm going to go for allied uh, oligarchy here because I want um, yeah I want recruitment this is the first order of the day and the client ruler, ruler will be ready next uh, turn here I'm doing the same thing I want recruitment options because at the moment there's none available and um, so yeah that's pretty much it so I think what else has happened let's see interloper who is that uh, oh yeah I just sent him back that's okay he should be okay. Mentor, yes, he's acquired. Uh, oh, is that a new one? Is that a sharp, charismatic, or vigorous? Who is that? Let me just have a quick look. Is that the guy? Yes, ah, okay, so he's the Demetrius's son. It seems what we want is Diodotus's son here as our potential heir. Okay, so that is good. He's got the mentor and there is a translator. Yeah, I've sent my... Um, diplomat back to the capital and what happens when you keep them there they start to acquire skills same with the uh, with the spies they kind of get trained in the settlement but i only have one spy now because the second one got killed oh basileus okay the colonists are here again and this was the first turn i think ever that we were actually building everything everywhere and now we can upgrade these buildings let's see bactria has the temple Ah, yes, here we also built a uh, settler frontier posts, which gives you these fellas. Fantastic. And it's also dependent on the colonist points. And in Bukhara, we built, yeah, we need to start building here, upgrading this perhaps. Let's see what else is happening. I tuned governor, okie doke, and this guy got an office for a year. All right, that's good. Oh, and this is what we've been waiting for. Okay, this is mission three upgrading the walls so i'm going to order it straight away okay and yeah the holiday period and happy hour is over we're going to the high taxes here because we need them to be able to pull their own weight within the um, our domains and paying a little bit more uh for the upkeep of the you know this emerging empire so let's see let's see what else i was doing here and uh, let's see the diplomat is in the capital oh yes 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 so i wasn't been able to actually build any watchtowers because of the you know didn't have enough money but let's see okay there is there's another rebel army here in my territory which isn't very good and i think i think i think i think let me check diplomacy wise 
Seleucids are now at war with Pahlava uh, as well as Ptolemaic Egypt, which is really good as far as I'm concerned. All right, so they are assembling their armies here. Oh, look, there's a huge one here. All right, that is fine. So main uh, objective has almost been uh, uh, achieved here, it seems. So we're now going to upgrade this and we're going to see if the Seleucids will dispatch. I think it's the final batch of the colonists. They're going to dispatch to us and we really, really need them. We now started to generate our own, of course, because we have three uh, Hellenistic polis. Uh, two are the minor ones in Maracanda and there is one here in Oscobara. Uh, yes, here it is. And there is one original one in Bactria itself. So this is essentially our core provinces, only these three. Beyond this, we cannot build any government apart from the client ruler, kind of independent uh, states. Uh, we will be able to once we go independent, but not yet. Okay, so let's just move ahead with this. Okay, and it's time to pay up. Yes. I wonder who is the ruler of the dynasty now, of the Seleucid dynasty. Is it Antiochus? Antiochus actually died around this date, Antiochus the first uh, Sota, who defeated the Gauls here in Asia Minor, the Galatians with his war elephants, and became known as Antiochus Sota or the Savior. He was ruling for about 20 years, and um, yeah, Seleucus Nicator, his father, um, yeah, was killed in 281, assassinated by Ptolemy, and he ruled ever since. He was actually a um, co-ruler before that, you know, he was co-ruling actual this area, Antiochus, and his mom, Apama, Apama, sorry, uh, for in, you know, in honor of whom Seleucus actually founded the city over here in Syria, not far from, uh, I think it might be actually represented by this model, I'm not sure, not far from Antioch itself. Uh, because Seleucus was a great city builder. It's unfortunate that, you know, the game does not allow you to found new cities. That would be such a cool feature. Would be really, really cool. Or like destroying the cities to the ground, you know? Like absolutely des destroying as you would perhaps... Let, let's build roads here. As you would, you know, with Corinth or Carthage. It wasn't, uh, you know, um, often that it was happening, but it did occur. Right, office has been granted a little bit more. That's all good. And government, governor in training. Okay, good stuff. So yeah, he was a core ruler of this area, Antiochus the first himself, because his mom is one of those Persian princesses that Alexander, you know, forced kind of forced his officers to marry. Remember, and Seleucus was one of the few, if not the only one that we know of, who did not actually dissolve this marriage with the Persian and local princes upon death of Alexander. So he kept that marriage and they actually tried to pretend that Seleucus's wife, Apama, was a daughter of Darius III, who Alexander defeated, yet to kind of try and establish some sort of continuity in rule and claim to rule. It wasn't, it wasn't true, but they tried to. So I wonder who rules, who rules the empire now? What I like, one thing I like in Attila and Rome too, is like when you engage in diplomacy, you actually engage with the ruler, not just the country, city-state, so to speak, like modern concept, totally alien to this period. You engage with the ruler, and I think, you know, the behavior of the country dependent upon the traits and, um, you know, char character traits and features of the ruler, so they could be reliable, could be aggressive, could be all sorts of things based on uh, an individual. Unfortunately, in this, in medieval too, all of these traits, they don't have like a... You know, visually, you don't kind of see them at a glance, like perhaps like in um, Crusader Kings sort of a type, you know, with icons similar to this, but not only for ancillaries, but also for the traits, so that you don't have to kind of scroll all this way back and forth all the time, trying to look for it. Yeah, so in Attila and in Rome, one of the few features I do like of those games is that when you engage in diplomacy, you actually engage with the rules. And, you know, it changes the dynamic, whoever comes to the throne you know, and behavior of that kingdom would depend on their characteristics. And then, you know, when they die, you have a new person coming in and it introduces a bit of a, you know, change into the gameplay, which is great. It actually, EB would be well placed for that kind of change because of the four turns per year. You know, you don't have too much change going on. It's like four turns a year. It gives you a lot of time for a measured, stable gameplay. But then bang, someone, the ruler dies and, you know, all the treaties with that kingdom should be up in the air, need to be renewed, renegotiated or discarded or whatever. Okay, anyway, talking too much. Let's move on. Oh no. 
Right, unfortunately, <laughs> I forgot that one of my spies was targeting this huge army. I think it was this army. So anyway, they got killed. So I'm down to one spy again. And Parthians, even though they're at war, are they still at war with the Seleucids? Let's see. Yeah, they are. But they're kind of not doing much. Hovering around. Threatening here Bukhara, it seems, which is not good. I think we're going to go for... Oh yeah, oh no, we don't want that. We don't have the money yet. Let's go for, let's go for, let's go for. Wow, that's expensive, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let's do the small scale farming first. Uh, okay, because I'm trying not to spend too much. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? This guy, Diodotus, I think. Is that Diodotus? Yes. He's got such huge penalty on building, like, you know, increases in prices everywhere. Like this should be. 3200 uh, 3, but it's actually 3520 now with him in office um, you know which is not good oh yes I'm gonna go for the roads here as well in uh, in the capital which is always good always helpful so let's keep an eye on Alexandria two more turns and we should hopefully receive those uh, colonists let's see where my other spy is ah he's still there oh yeah I need to deal with this fella somehow I need to assemble an army here and launch it towards them and deal with them. Uh, let's see, who can I send? Who can I send? Uh, 1844, this guy was not very good. Let me see if he can actually govern Maracanda for us, can he? Yeah, he's okay. He's not great, but not too bad. I'm actually going to, yeah, uh, yeah, support this garrison with a bit more force. Right, let's bring Let's bring the Lotus here. Let's get him all this cavalry and infantry and all this jazz. All these people that are not actually serving. Uh, oh, sorry, do not have free upkeep. And who else can we send with him? Okay, we're going to send you. And we're going to... No, these guys are still undergoing training. They, this one is 17. This one is 18-year-old. I'm going to leave them where they are. And with him, we're going to actually attack... And hopefully destroy right now real quick this force of rebels okay here we are where are these guys oh they all the way up there on the hill so i only have like in terms of infantry i only have skirmishes here it seems but i also also have uh, horse archers that i'm going to now ask to actually start harassing these guys from both flanks and the rest are you know we only have one levy unit of infantry really so I'm going to send them uh, up the hill as well. And cavalry, heavy cavalry. So it's kind of very, in a way, traditional Bactrian, you know, he cavalry heavy army, right? It's like that one at the Battle of Arius when Antiochus arrived. Antiochus the Great that is not the first. And faced with the, you know, huge 10,000 10, men. Uh, Bactrian uh, cataphract um, uh, detachment you know when he was able then eventually to defeat them to disperse them All right let's ask you guys to target them as well this way and you are uh, middle unit here and where is this unit yeah and you guys will go for this fellas okay so we're taking a bit of a damage here let's just move them around the flanks a little bit and yeah, they mostly skirmishes themselves, yeah, nothing, oh yeah, they have slingers here as well. And yeah, a couple units of skirmishes, etc, etc. So yeah, Antiochus came in, so there's this 10,000 cataphrats, Bactrian cataphrats. But he figured out that they actually, for the night, they were actually guarding the Arius River, they were guarding the crossing, but for the night, they were marching away to the settlement to spend the night there, which was, you know, a few kilometers away. So what he did, Antiochus uh, the Great, he uh, actually yeah, took a detachment of Agema cavalry, about 2,000 plus several thousand of Peltas and other light cavalry, and he marched, yeah, go for it. He marched during the night time across the river and took the position. So the cataphracts returned in the morning to discover that actually Seleucids were on the other side already waiting for them. So they charged straight on. And Antiochus being Antiochus the Great, like, you know, typical uh, behavior, like he would later display at the Battle of Raffia as well. He just charged head on with 2,000 cavalry, almost got himself killed, most of the units got killed. But he did manage to buy some times for the Peltas to come in, for to cross, finish crossing, come in. And 
get engaged in the fighting and then they actually defeated this 10,000 cataphracts. He had his um, horse killed under, uh, from under him. It's a Polybius, you can read in a Polybius about it. And uh, his tooth were knocked off, uh, knocked out. I don't know if it's the result of, it seems that it was a result of a fall from the horse when they were crossing the river in the morning. It wasn't like the actual in fighting it seems. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, no, no, out, out of there. What are these guys, yeah. Um, okay, let's just, uh, let's just start charging them, shall we? Yeah, you guys head on, head on, and we've, we're going to bring heavy cavalry upon this unit. Yeah, go for it. And this unit will be hopefully engaging soon. So yeah, we're just pinning them. Oh, this is like an elite spearman unit, isn't it? Okay, we, we're done with them. Um, right, what else is happening? Uh, oh yeah, these units have uh, routed as well, which is always good to see. Yeah, let's go for it. And yeah, these guys are routing too, right? Yeah. So yeah, Antiochus managed to win this in this manner. Uh, you know, uh, almost got himself killed. Ah, okay, end of battle. I think that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, he reasserted his um, control of, um, and he then uh, besieged Bactria for three years. And uh, yeah, got some elephants from them. All right, so again, one experience here. All right, that's all good. And did we, yeah, we killed the general as well. Oops, okay, that's good. So the daughter's gained a bit of an experience here. Let's send him back. Uh, yeah, back for a training and all that jazz. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let's just see what's happening here. Uh -huh. There is, there is, there is, there is another rebel army, but this is no concern of mine because it's not my territory. Oh, yes, look at that. The Parthians assembling a massive force here. Let's see where they go from here. They going to attack me or they going to attack oh there's a lots of uh, men in this garrison actually so i would need to perhaps bring some reinforcements yeah into the city because otherwise it looks like a very very tempting target for the parthians okay okay so luckily we did not get attacked by the parthians not yet um let's see I, actually yeah maybe i could actually if i merge these guys i can bring perhaps a couple of units of yeah my skirmishes here just to reinforce this a little bit and the rest can get back to the capital for a uh, retraining this is all good war declared okie doke a contestai they've been yeah attuned governor all right that's good well done interlopa who is that diodotus why diodotus should have lost this trade by you know long time ago because I moved him out didn't I from that settlement because I cannot build anything but clan ruler run governments and that's what you get anyway let's see how many more turns we have left here one more okay one more and mission three should be accomplished yeah by the way Antiochus the first is also credited with building school no school is not good for us let's just um, we'll have to order I think another cheap unit here Who's the cheapest? These guys are the cheapest. 100 upkeep. Okay. Yeah, with the founding of city Iconum in northern Afghanistan here. And there's lots of uh, relics, lots of artifacts from there. But apparently, you know, not much has been left. Not as much as we could have had because it's been ravaged by war, you know. Last few decades. Right, let's go. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. It's, is that, did, we, did we manage? Yes, yes. You earned the congratulations of your bacillus. So fantastic. So they hopefully gave it, given us the last batch. I think it's the last one of the, um, you know, uh, colonists that we need for Hellenizing the space. So we are all good now. And this is mission three accomplished. Very nice indeed. And I can also, yeah, create like a hoplite units here now, which is fantastic to see. They, uh, they also give you free upkeep. They're quite expensive otherwise. 280 even more expensive than this horseman so i think i will train one as soon as i have spare cash i will do that right let's see what's happening in terms of the war i'm now starting to think about ah they cease fired with the parties start starting to consider independence now i do i do i do i do so we shall see we shall see not in this perhaps episode someone's very wealthy but soon enough now soon enough now we will be considering the prospects of our gaining our independence 
and you know transforming the space around our core into the actual administration that we want that we can tie you know closer to us and get some Hellenistic units perhaps thrown in, thrown in the mix and also you know building minor Hellenistic uh, policies in some places that were you know will be able to do it not everywhere I guess but in some places it should be allowed so yeah okay so thanks a lot for stopping by so the mission 3 is now fully accomplished we have no more missions pending that was it and um, yeah we, sh we shall see where we go from here I'm really keen now on try trying to overthrow the Seleucids but the timing is not very good because they're only at war with Ptolemaic Egypt I was hoping that you know they would get engaged with more more factions before I make my move but we shall see we shall see in the future thanks again for watching and I shall see you in the next one